I had periods of being out of touch of, with reality. The first time I uh, thought I was an angel and um, that I could fly. So obviously it was quite dangerous. Uh, I needed hospitalization. Another time I um, thought that the mafia were after me and I would be walking down the street and very concerned that people were following me. And another time I thought that it was World War III and there were snipers on top of buildings. It was very upsetting. At one point I was in uh, a severe depression. I attempted suicide, so it was pretty severe. We grew up as a very tight-knit, close family. When Kristen was in her late teens, early 20s, she became very, very ill. She was more or less lost to us for about a decade or so because of the delusions that she's described. A problem with current prescribing practices is that it's a very trial and error process. The doctor picks, say, an antidepressant for a patient with depression. The problem is that each medication takes five to eight weeks to determine whether it's working in a patient or not. If the first medication does not work, then you, with medication number two, you have to go through another five to eight weeks with side effects that are unpredictable. Typically, 50% of the patients don't respond to the first antidepressant medication. That will delay the entire treatment plan. It's harmful to the doctor-patient relationship. Here at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, we can determine from an individual patient's DNA, from a saliva sample, a set of genes that uh, helps us predict whether they will respond to a medication or not. The genes we look at are uh, specific ones in the liver that break down the medication, either fast or slow, and another set of genes that are the targets of the drug in the brain that help to improve the depression, for example. When we adjusted the medication for Kristen after getting the results of the pharmacogenic test, she had a really good response in terms of her core symptoms. The evolution of pharmacogenetic testing was a real game changer for us. It really addressed um, all of the symptoms that she was experiencing and in a sense returned the person that we knew to us and to the family. Since I had the genetic testing, the doctor was able to decide which medication would be helpful for me personally. It improved my mental health and uh, significantly and uh, um, I've had quite a period of wellness. There's lots of activities that you do now. Yep like the choir and the jog sitting and family events. <laughs> Patients do not respond in the same way uh, to the same treatment. And now if I know that the variability that causes these problems uh, in finding the right treatment is linked to the variability that we have in our DNAs, then I can try to match the two and optimize treatment because ultimately we're not treating populations, we're treating individuals. My symptoms prior to the pharmacogenetic testing of my DNA were that of a panic attack all the time. I constantly felt like I was living on edge, that my heart was racing, that I couldn't breathe, that I was suffocating or almost internally drowning in my body. Everything came back to eventually it's going to kill me, this is going to be the death of me if I don't act out these compulsions. I missed months of school um, and I would just do all the stuff at home. I wouldn't go out. I would make any excuse possible. I literally would stay in my room. So after medication was adjusted because of the pharmacogenetic testing of the DNA, it's been light and day. It's changed my life for the better, even within the first few weeks. The symptoms were gone, but not only that, I had been on prior medications before that were all rendered to be not good for me based on my DNA analysis and I didn't experience any of the side effects that I was experiencing before but I also had the symptom relief. Pharmacogenetics is very user-friendly and applicable for the physician in their practices because the beauty is that a genetic test is easy to conduct nowadays with saliva in several hours you could potentially get the results of the variation and include it in your treatment decision very much the same day. The way that we are using pharmacogenetics testing in our group practice is a revolutionary way of taking care of patients with mental illness. 
The way the test comes back is like a stoplight, green, yellow, and red. Green being medicines that you can take, yellow being medicines that you should be cautious about, and red being medicines that you should try to avoid because you're more than likely going to have some trouble with them metabolizing the medicine. So in the end, we have more people taking better medicines, getting better quickly, being treated faster, getting into remission more quickly. We were the very first family practice office in the world to do significant organized pharmacogenetic testing in partnership with CAMH. And it's gotten to the point now where we have many other family practitioners who've heard that we've done this test who refer patients of theirs to our office just so they can get the testing done, get their medicine started, and then we send them back to their family doctors. The word is getting out far and wide that this is working. Here at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, the Tannenbaum Pharmacogenetic Center has begun in 2012 uh, testing uh, version one of the uh, genetic panel. We did two and a half thousand patients in the greater Toronto area. The test was easily understood, the doctors liked it, the patients liked it. So we then expanded and, and brought in a partner company and went on to test 11,000 patients. That's created a terrific database which we can use to refine and discover new elements of the pharmacogenetic testing. We believe that extending reimbursement to primary care physicians is uh, supported by data from the IMPACT study, uh, which is a collaborative effort between Myriad Genetics and researchers at the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health. Positive coverage decision uh, in primary care could be significant to patients with depression because they're first viewed by their family physician. If at this point the family physician is able to order the pharmacogenetic test, then the patient has decreased wait time for uh, genetically optimal medication, which increases their accessibility to it. And most importantly, this uh, results in improved patient outcomes. The overall benefit of pharmacogenetic testing is realized when it's placed in the context of good clinical care, and that with the science of the DNA the patient understands that what the test decision is based on. They're uh, much more confident in their treatment. They share it with their family members. And this goes a very long way towards reducing the stigma of psychiatric treatment.